When it was announced Brad Haddon would be rested from the Australian side, few people were surprised. A summer of indifferent performances meant his position came under severe scrutiny. This could be a sorry end to Haddon's career, which started with high hopes and comparisons with the legendary Adam Gilchrist. Pretty big shoes to fill, but I think he's been doing a fantastic job. Um, uh, he's, he's been perfect you know, for the role to come in after Adam. I think we've been lucky that we've had someone of such high quality that has also played a lot of first-class cricket, has a lot of experience. So to be able to come in and be successful initially after Adam Gilchrist uh, has been very, very important for our team. Uh, and I think he's been doing a wonderful job for Australia, yes. Oh, I think the comparisons with myself and Adam were, were quite embarrassing, to, to be perfectly honest. Adam can go down as the game is probably arguably one of the, one of the greatest players ever. Um, and, and I'm only shortly into, into my test career. So I, I think the comparisons are, are very un, un, unfair towards Adam because he, he, he's such a great player. In fact, so deep-rooted is the Gilchrist legacy down under that Haddon worked hard to be recognised as another individual rather than be known as the replacement of the world's most successful wicketkeeper batsman. I, I think you've got to make sure you, you're confident in yourself and, and you're bringing out your own personality in the role. Um, I, I've never once tried to, to be like Adam Gilchrist. I've always tried to to let my personality come through and, and let my game come through the, the way I play. Despite making his international ODI debut in 2001, it took seven years for a more permanent place to become available, but Haddon thought the wait had been worth it. When I first made my debut for Australia, I probably wasn't ready to play for Australia then. I probably didn't understand my game well enough to, to cope with international cricket. Um, so I think the wait of seven years just allowed me to understand my game and, and get my game to, to um, probably a position where it could handle in national cricket. But the waiting game ended in a finger fracture in the West Indies in his maiden test series. However, he established himself as the retired Adam Gilchrist's immediate long-term replacement in some style in 2008. In 2009 in New Zealand, he passed 50 for the first time in tests before going on to post a career best 169, all in full view of his predecessor watching from the stands. A maiden test century for Brad Adam. And he completed the six tests against the Proteas with a 90, a 60, and a few 40s, with just one single digit score in between them, thus quickly carving out a niche for himself. I think it, you can just put it down to starting to feel more comfortable in the environment um, with international cricket. Um, I, I think it takes a, a while to, to get used to probably the scrutiny you, you're, you're under with international cricket. His tenacity led him to become Australia's leading keeper across all three major forms of the game. Strong performances earlier in his careers as captain of Australia A even led Haddon to take the reins from Michael Clark in several T20 matches. The Australian standing captain doesn't even move after that one. Captaincy is certainly not something um, I crave. Um, I've been lucky enough to to captain and, and win a couple of titles with New South Wales and I was, I was lucky enough the other night probably through rotation and, and players being injured to, to have the chance to captain Australia in the 2020 match which was made even more exciting because it was on my, my home ground in, in Sydney. Uh, but I enjoyed, the, I enjoyed the challenge of the night. Despite his recent form slump, his career statistics draw the picture of a strong keeper and a handy batsman. In the 43 tests that he's played in, Haddon has notched up close to 2,300 runs at over 35, while having already gone past 160 victims behind the stumps. In 93 One Day Internationals, Haddon aggregates 136 dismissals and another 2,500 odd runs, including two match-winning centuries against New Zealand.
there it is. A very, very fine innings from the Australian wicketkeeper batsman Brad Haddon. Raise your bat and he should get a generous applause from this crowd, also from his teammates. While many, including Haddon himself, are doubtful whether he'll ever play for his country again, as was proven by the nature of his test debut, all it takes is one opportunity. Players start to understand their games at di different ages and, and uh, I think another thing that comes into it is opportunity. Um, we've had such a great team with this Australian cricket team, it's, it's been hard to, to, get into, to get into the side so you've got to be lucky sometimes to be born into a role and have a position available for you.